everybody. Peace. Um, I will stand on the existing protocols and um, I crave your indulgence to forgive me if I do not know how to um, say all the things that people say from the religious book. Greetings from the EFCC. We are here representing uh, Amiable Chairman, Mr. Abdul Rashid Bauer, as at this time he is um, involved in so many things and uh, couldn't make it, so please accept his apologies. It's interesting to know that when the invitation letter was handed over to me two days ago, the only thing I could recognize, I said, oh, Project Eat Halal. And I, I started to ruminate. I said, okay, I know what halal is, which is that which is permissible, if I'm correct. I said, okay. So it has a lot to do with what we are doing in the EFCC. I want to say a very big kudos to all the people that have worked tirelessly to bring this project to bear. It's very much in line with what the EFCC stands for. A lot of people think that the EFCC is only about arrests and prosecution. And I want to stand here to tell all of us that the EFCC is working very much in line with what Project Eat Halal is all about. As a child growing up in the Christian fold, one of the things that helped us to grow is the quotation from the Bible which says, Train up a child in the way he should grow. And when he grows up, he will not depart from it. And I see from the chairman's opening remark that it's exactly what we're about here. The EFCC also thinks in line with your project, which has made it to come up with um, the interfaith manual. The interfaith manual is a, a manual that places very big importance on the place of religion, whether as a Muslim or as a Christian. The interfaith manual is a teaching guide, just like you have the salmon guide. It's a teaching guide both for the Christians and the Muslims. Why? Because every Nigerian is a religious person. We go to the mosques every Friday as Muslims. We pray five times a day before leaving the house, while in the office, at home, every time. Why we are praying? One of the things that led to the interfaith manual is you pray. What happens after the prayer? We need to teach our people in the mosque, in the church, what it is that the place of corruption in our society, how has it affected us? Because I do not, I have not read the Quran, but I am sure it speaks against corruption in its entirety. And so does the Bible. So, very soon this manual is going to come out and honestly, with what I've seen here, you can be sure that you'll be part of the launch of that manual because it's in line with the work you're doing here. So on behalf of the executive chairman of the EFCC, the whole staff, I want to say congratulations on the work you're doing and may Allah continue to guide you in the path of righteousness. Thank you.